Vusi uh, that he Vusi uh, Zion was the executive producer. Sure. He went and got young actors, but actors. Yeah, yeah, who care about the craft. The young people that are actors, and the only difference between them is she and I, U Uzimi, for example, is experience. That's the mm -hmm. only difference. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. She has love for the craft. She's pushing. She's and 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 I was like, okay, let me help you. Mm -hmm. I know where you're going. Let me help you. Mm -hmm. um, whether she received me or not, I really will never know because yeah, yeah. I've not encountered her since. But I try to leave a part of me with her mm -hmm. and the young men that played my son and the young lady. that. So I try to leave a part of me with them because I know where they are going yeah, and I know yeah, how yeah. tough it's going to be for them in their principles. Now, you're going to encounter the influencer. <laughs> And she said, because she's pretty and she's got so many followers. And likes. And likes. <laughs> like, subscribe, and follow. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> and, and it's tough yeah. because they've worked hard for that, yeah. but they didn't work hard for this. Mm -hmm. So they are out of their element. Oof. What do you do when you're out of your element? You hold on to what you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's difficult to then learn something else Oof. because you're trying to be strong in what you know. I wish, I wish, it's fine. You are now here. Show some respect for where you are. Just a little bit. Show some, re show some respect for the people that you find here that have gone to school for this. They may not have them as many likes and followers as you, but they know this space. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This space is Humble their territory. This is their territory. Yeah. Humble yourself to the experience, mm -hmm. and you might find that you become an amazing actor with a million followers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And now you have both. Now you've got both. Because humility was at the center of how you operate. Yeah. Yeah. And humility has got nothing to do with humiliation. <sighs> Humbling yourself is not humiliation. Humility is self-imposed. Humiliation is other-imposed. Yeah, yeah, when you yeah. impose it on yourself to humble yourself, it is so valuable. It is a gift to yourself and to the person that you're humbling yourself to. So try it. Have you ever encountered in the sets that you've worked on one who was the influencer rather than one who's willing to learn and humbled themselves to become a better person in their craft. Don't give me names. Don't don't worry about that. But <laughs> I want to know about oh the experience. Oh boy! <laughs> There's an actor that I worked with years ago who has now become an influencer, <laughs> and she's forgotten the craft. Oof. I've watched. You know, as actors, putting together the character has many departments. You've got the wardrobe department, the person that's going to dress your character. You must be in agreement with that person. Okay. You've got the makeup department that is, you know, affecting what you look like on your face, that, that you must be in agreement with that person. It, it, it's a collaboration. Do you understand? Um, you've got the, you know, the set people, the props, and um, the art department. That, that's another level of collaboration. You've got the camera, the lights. It's, all of them are collaborating with you to help you put together this character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to capture the moment. Disrespecting any of those people is disrespecting yourself. <laughs> So I've seen these young ladies sitting on the makeup chair with their phones. They're live. And, and, they're, and, the, and they're, they're, they're like trying to be pretty on the phone doing a video call while the makeup person is trying to put your character together. Hmm. Putting your character together, that's how much you're undermining yourself and the person because they're not just doing your makeup for you to look pretty. They're, they're putting, putting your character, character together. together. Hey family, thank you so much for being loyal to Engineering Your Life. I know that if you're watching this, you're probably here for the second time or the third time. And please, if you're here for the second, third time, please may you kindly subscribe. Because if you subscribe, it helps us to get better conversation, get better guests, and get access to creating the best content that we can for you. So please don't forget to subscribe and make sure you continue watching this episode. And you're absent for it. Oof. For the formation of your character, you absent. The foundation, you owe mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And then they're going to go to the director and like, look what you did to my makes. Look, look, look what you did to my face. My makeup is all wrong. You were talking while she was trying to put lipstick on you. You were disrespecting the person who is assisting you. And you think <laughs> a million followers, those million people don't know your character. Mm. And we've just experienced your character and we do not like it. Mm. So, uh, yes, I have experienced such people on set. And, oh, my gosh, they're flushing on my face right now <laughs> as I'm speaking. It's quite a number of them. It's taking, it's taking a lot for me to not say, well, you know, the names. But, um, yes, I've, I have encountered it. And I find that the boys are easier to deal with than the girls. Sure. Yeah. And that's because the girls have a lot of pressure on them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we must give them grace. Yes. I wish they'd give themselves grace, though. Mm. Grace comes from within. Mm. Yeah. You're very open about, uh, and I don't think you'll have to correct me, but I'll see if I get it right. You're 57 years old. I am. Um, which means you're probably in the best years of your life because there's a lot of self-actualization. The more we mature in stages beyond age, we, we become who we are and we know who we are so much. I am an introvert of introverts. Like, among introverts, I'll still be the introverted one in the group. I know, I know. And I'm going to tell you, um, yes, I'm going to explain it to you. <laughs> then I just, don't give me that face. <laughs> um, I grew up like that. And I grew up the observer, mm -hmm. sitting in the corner. And I was not unhappy in the corner, you must understand. So when you see somebody sitting in the corner, please, they're not unhappy. That's who they are. That's, that's, they're living it. And I live vicariously through all the extroverted person. I'll give you an example. I remember um, the first time that I worked on Generations, they used to have Friday night parties. So after rap on Friday, the drinks and the whatever. And I remember Brenda Fassi shows up and she and I are sitting at the table and we're both doing the same thing, like recoiling into a corner and yeah, we're both sitting yeah, there like this. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and then we struck a conversation and then we got like close with each other and we just chatted away. And so somebody saw her being animated and me being animated and thought, oh, yeah, they're awake. But it was because we were with each other that we formed a trust moment and we could then just, you know, open up a little bit more. Correct. And now they wanted to perform. She looks at me. She goes, okay, I got to do this. And then she gets on the table and goes, ah! She does all of that. And I knew she was putting it on. Mm. When I came in, I needed a moment. I yeah. don't know if you remember. Yeah, I, yeah. I needed sure, a moment. Sure, sure. And that's a moment to, okay, you don't know these people. It's okay. You are safe. I needed to embrace myself, mm -hmm. to calm myself, to be able to be open with you. Yeah. Otherwise, I would not be able to have this yeah, conversation. So yeah. this is something that I have learned to do for myself so that because the interviews are part of what of, of my job. Yes, yeah, it's part yeah. of what I do. Yeah. So, and I avoid them. <laughs> like, I don't, That's why I said we're very privileged. I don't <laughs> like talking to strangers. Yes, I really yes, do not. Yes, yes. I, and um, and it's not because I don't like you. It's mm -hmm. because I just feel more comfortable with myself mm -hmm. by mm -hmm. myself mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the people that I know. So now I know you. Yeah. yeah. But that's because I. It counseled myself into sure, a space where sure. I'm like, okay, he, his name is Lungelo. He's like, yeah. we, we, we like Lungelo. We're okay with Lungelo. We'll find out more about him. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, what do you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> but there are so many of us out there. Yeah. And, and you will find that some of the most amazing, talented actors are introverts. Because what do we do? We study human behavior. And we reflect it on society. And you can't learn anything with your mouth. You can't hear anything with your mouth open. Yeah, yeah. Eesh. One of the biggest things that has come to light in my personal life, in my journey of um, becoming who I am. Um, what is that? Who is that? My inner being. I'm doing a lot of inner work at the moment. I'm reading a lot of books. It sounds like it. I'm reading a lot of books. Uh, I'm consuming a lot of sermons. I'm consuming a lot of positive podcasts right um uh, and one of the biggest thing that has struck me is finding my community finding my community of 
of like-minded people. Mm. And when I say like-minded people, you know, when we're growing up, we think it's only family that you must love and embrace and bring close in. Yeah. So you're finding a tribe outside of your right? family. <laughs> I'm finding a tribe. And I, the way I'm layering this conversation is in finding my tribe, how important has friendship been for you in finding tribes? So your question is, in finding tribes, how yeah. has um, friendship, friendship been, been so important? Would you say friendship is important? Or actually, the more mature I become, I'm like, mm, friends are a waste of time. Actually, you do have friends and those friends are within your family. Okay. I was raised like that. Okay. I was raised where um, <laughs> um, my parents, their generation, they were friends with each other. And so when they visit each other, then their kids become my friends. I hear you. I hear you. And I remember one time my grandmother, there's a family across the road from our farm and they, they had kids there and I wanted to play with them. And I would be swinging on the gate and like, oh my gosh, I wish I could go there and play with those kids. I don't know them. I want to know them. And I went to my mom and I said, mom, and she went, oh, Mdana, what did I do wrong? Yeah. What is it out of everything that I provided for you here that I did not do that you have to go and look for it over there? That was the last time I asked to go out. <laughs> <laughs> look, she was so sad. I'm like, I caused her hurt. Yeah. I hurt her. I will never do that. Mm, mm, <laughs> you know. Mm. And for me, my family, my cousins, those are my friends. Those are the people that I know about. Uh, Anytime, any day, anytime, any day. Mings and I are like the same age and we do not talk for an entire year. I pick up the phone, Mings, like, yo, Nams, how's it going? You were asking about Nams. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I got yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and, and it's like we just spoke last week. Yeah, yeah. They heard that I was not feeling well. Who shows up in my door? And she was like honking at the gate. I'm like, because I was not taking any calls. I switched off my phone. Yeah, yeah. And she was like, you are going to talk to me. Mm. And she said, and she talks. Oh my God, she talks. Oh my God, my sister talks. And she sat there, pulled up a chair, sat next to my bed and continued talking nonstop. So the only way I can get her to shut up is if I get up from this bed, right? I guess I'm getting up. <laughs> <laughs> she got me out of bed. And that was the community you needed at the time that that's, you didn't know you needed. Yeah. And that's the value of friendship that you found in your sister. So, I do have friends outside of my blood family. Yeah. Um, some of them understand that I'm quiet mm -hmm. and I don't, I don't reveal myself. I don't, I'm not that open. Um, but there's another friend of mine who I love so dearly, Sonia, and she's also similar to me. And I'm like, and I've been thinking about her a lot lately. But I did not pick up the phone. Yeah. And I bet you she's thinking about me a lot yeah, lately. Yeah. And she's not picking up the phone. That spiritual connection. It's a spiritual connection. We're yeah, good. Yeah. But um, I'm like, okay, no, no. I, I, you need to call Sonia. Yeah, okay, I should. Two days go by. You really need to call Sonia. Yeah, yeah, you're right. We have not had a beef. There's no fight, nothing. But that's who I am. My heart, my soul, it's all compacted in here. And I'm, I'm okay with that. We young people, uh, maybe once again, it's Joburg hustle culture, but we're struggling with longevity of friendships. You speak like you saying that you can go a year without speaking to people you, you love and you pick up the phone and they're there at your doorstep mm. because they'll, they'll show up for you when it matters, yeah. right? Yeah. What do you think we, nowadays, there's a lot of struggles in friendships and we even see public friendships fall out in our faces. Yeah, like, why, why do you do that to yourself? Um, do you know, I, I do have um, friends that are, that are in the public eye, but mm -hmm. nobody... Okay, now everybody knows that Phil is my friend, mm -hmm. but for years, nobody knew about that. Mm -hmm. And I think we got, we posted a picture of the two of us being, like, so relaxed, and people went, you know each other? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we're, like, 15, 20 years apart, but yeah. we are, like... He's, yeah. he's my he's my boy. Yeah. He's yeah. like he's my boy. Yeah. And and you know so he is of a different generation almost like it's like on the you know the edge there. But I think what has happened right now and it's happened and I watch it I watch a lot of 
um, social media in the you know U.S. and Canada based, and it's p- placing so much value in me, 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 and my feelings, mm. and not the correct one. It's not the honoring of self. It's not the respecting of self because the respecting mm. of self encourages me to respect you. Yeah. Honoring of myself encourages me to honor you because it extends out. Do you understand? But the way that they're doing it right now is you must acknowledge my feelings. You must honor me. I demand that. And what happens is if both of us are of the same way of thinking, who's going to honor who? Who's going to respect who? Mm. Then we walk away from each other because now we are the same ball, the same hard ball bouncing off of each other. Mm -hmm. It's not going to work. There's a reason why we've got the yin and the yang and the give and the take. Because this moment is yours, the next moment is mine. Do you understand? It's the seesaw of life. And if we balance it, then we can both have